Hey everybody. Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about torque about a line. Different from torque about a point. For example, like if you look at this person trying to turn this capstan to lift up a anchor on a ship, if you apply a force this way, about point P over here, it causes a torque this way. Right, like R cross F is going this way. But then if you apply the same com magnitude of force, let's say like 100 newtons, 2 meters, then it's 200 newton meters this way. But if you apply that same 100 newtons, say downwards, so then it's more like R cross F, it, the torque will be this way. Right, so that 100 newtons of force 2 meters away from point P will turn the winch. That same magnitude of force applied in the wrong direction does not at all turn the winch. Right, so what we care about is how much torque is applied along this axis of rotation. So how do you get torque about a line? So first we need to define the line. So we set up some unit vector, say here, along the line. So you define a unit vector. So that's how you're quantifying the line. And then the steps to solve, you pick a point on the line. Any point. Any point. Right, so for example, point P. And then the, you compute the torque about that point. Right, so for example, R cross F gives you this torque vector. This one, right? R cross F. But that's torque about this point P. But if we want the torque about the line, you project that torque vector onto the line. Right? You like project it onto the line. So if you recall, like how do you find the component of a vector along a line, if that sounds familiar, right? It's torque along the line, it's E dot that vector, that torque vector about that point, about the point, right? And then again, look, this is a scalar, right? That's a dot product. If you want the direction, here's the direction. Right, this is the magnitude. This is the direction. Okay, so then it really boils down to it's E dot R cross F. Okay, it turns out this is called a mixed triple product when you have this combination of a dot product and a cross product. So let me show you a computational technique for mixed triple products. So So it turns out like say you have three vectors, A, it's the same as if you did this determinant. You put A, the vector A in the first row, vector B in the second row, and then vector C in the third row. 
and then you just compute this determinant. It's the same thing. These are the same thing. Even more so, what happens is you can do row operations. So, like, you can play musical chairs here. Like, okay, you move to the back, and then you, the other two move up. B. C. A. Like this. Right? So they kind of B move to the front. Everybody kind of moved up one. Or C moves up to the front. And then everybody else moves up. Which is the same as... Right, B goes in the first row, and then C, and then A. Same thing. Or C goes in the first row, and then A, and then B. Because for matrices, it turns out, like if you exchange rows, a minus sign pops up. And if you exchange yet another row, there's another minus sign. So if you do two row exchanges, it's the same. It's like negative and negative. So right? if you look, these are just like trading. Like A is at the top, and then A moves to the bottom, B moves up. All of these are equal. Okay, let's try an example. So let's say we want to compute the torque due to this force about this line here. So let's comp let's define a unit vector. I'll just call it e hat in the direction from B to C. So let's compute the torque about that line. So first we need, I'll just write it right here, right, this unit vector. So from B to C, it's uh, 0 minus 0, 4 minus 0, 0 minus 3, divided by its own magnitude. Okay, so that's 5, right, so that's 4 fifths. Okay, oh, not, not I, this is a J. Okay, so we got the unit vector along the line. So we just pick a point, any point, let's say point C. Right, so let's say point C. So the torque about point C is R from C to A cross F then we project that onto the line the line right looks like i'll just write the magnitude here e dot r cross f right so if you want to do this operation you can do it as a mixed triple product so so e goes in the first row and then r from c to a is 4 minus 0 2 minus 4 2 minus 0 and then f is right here negative 2, 6, 3. Right? So you just do this determinant. So let's, I'll just write it. Right? So 0 times this, that's 0, minus 4 fifths this, right? So 4 times 3 minus negative 4. Okay, and then plus 
this times this. So 24 minus 4. And there you go. And oh, let me check the units. This is kilonewton meters. Kilonewton meters. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the next video.